It is the 7th of June. It is 2.28 according to my GPS. And if this focuses, I've been here for 4 hours and 24 minutes. And they're now unloading me for my 1 o'clock appointment. I did arrive early, about 10, but I thought maybe I'd get in early. But I didn't expect to be uh, an hour and a half after my scheduled appointment when I arrived because I was the only truck here. And uh, so I'm getting uh, trailer parts. I'm going to take it to uh, Lafayette, Indiana. I'm in uh, Dumas, Arkansas. Uh, 353 I'm in Lafayette Indiana this is a drop yard that uh, I guess we have a customer for I've been here one other time and uh, this trailer right in front of me is the one I dropped off and it is you might see it look a little bit different than these other trailers they tend to have just two straps over their stack of product and uh, for some reason I went through the effort of putting st stringing uh, gut straps through these things Maybe it wasn't necessary. Sorry, fingers in the way. Keep giving people the finger, and it's not good. Um, and that, wow, this is really picking up the bug splatter on my windshield. Anyway, uh, I pick up the, uh, or I drop off a trailer, and uh, then I pick up an empty. And it, it had almost all the gear I needed in it. And uh, I guess this is one of those places where uh, all the gear of the trailer should be in the trailer that you're picking up so I have five more minutes on my half hour break before I'm gonna leave this particular spot I'm in and uh, then I'll have more time because I'm pretty much out of <laughs> I ran out of time while I was here I've got uh, about three hours and 40 minutes left and I'm gonna be traveling to uh, home messaging I'm going to be traveling to, where am I traveling to? Crawfordsville, Indiana. It's like 40 miles south of here. Pick up a coil. I've been there hundreds of times, it feels like. But it's going to South uh, Carolina with a delivery date on Friday. And if that's the case, if I end up sticking with this load, I won't be going home because that's just too far east to get home. But uh, before I even showed up here, that's just a pre-plan. I sent in a message. It's like, is there... There are any other options because this is you know this load you're planning on giving me is pretty much guaranteed i'm not getting home and apparently they're going to do a load swap as soon as i pick up my new load so we'll see if that happens that's it for now it's a little bit warm here i had an issue with my air conditioning tra traveling up here i had it on um i had it on uh the maximum level it could go and cold and everything was turned on and it felt like there was no air conditioning coming out of the vents and I'm like and it's only it was only 70 degrees outside um, while I was trying to utilize this and I thought this is really strange so uh, it made me think well maybe the coil froze up so what I did is open my windows because it was only 70 degrees outside <laughs> it was warmer inside my truck than it was outside and uh, opened up when turned off the air conditioning just turned it off completely and opened up some windows and I was like oh, okay that fixed it and then uh, and then I want to say about half hour 45 minutes later I decided to shut the windows and turn on the air conditioning and then it worked great so um, I want to without looking at it the air conditioning coil probably f froze up with with frost and if it does that it tends to anyway affect it that's just my opinion on what I think hypothetically because I never looked at it so I have no idea that's it for now gonna go pick up a coil in about uh, I won't say you are uh, in about three minutes I'll be taking off so it's about eight almost 8 30 Eastern time so it's like 7 30 Central time what I'm used to um, I have a 40,000 pound coil and I did the uh, what I call the tarps are too short on the sides wrap job and uh, this way I can still use a steel tarp and uh, and keep it nice and tight so when you have to pull out the uh, lumber tarp that's when it gets ferociously 
uh, <laughs> tarpy. So you can see I've, I've uh, the object of this type of tarp job is you cover the tarp, you pull the back corners forward and then the front corners back, and then you bungee the crap out of it to keep uh, it from bellowing, and it does a great job. And I don't have to try to tarp a coil with a uh, with a lumber tarp because those are big, heavy, and cumbersome. So I got a new trailer. And in fact, I have to. Uh, they're having some kind of issue with the uh, computer system. This is where I'm staying tonight at a rest stop. So when we leave with our load, we do a leaving, what we call a leaving shipper macro. Not to bore you to death with that kind of thing, but sometimes they have computer glitches. And I'm going inside because it's loud outside. Well, evidently the system's not working correctly and it doesn't recognize that I have this particular trailer on my attached to my truck. So every time I put in this message saying, hey, I picked up my product and I'm leaving, it sends it back saying, uh, there's an error, you don't have the right trailer. Well, I do have the right trailer because it was the only empty Maverick one there. <laughs> so, uh, but they know this. I've called them a couple times and they're trying to correct it so I can put this message in. So I still have, to, I need to do that actually right now. So that, that pretty much wraps up the end of my day. It is Wednesday, the end of Wednesday. I have all day tomorrow to drive, 10 and a half hours. I'm hoping that I don't do that. Uh, my hope is, is that they get a load swap for me so I can work my way back home because if I can, if I drive all day tomorrow and there's no load swap tomorrow, I'm going to be in South Carolina and Friday's going to come and I'm like, okay, it's I won't make it home for the weekend, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't like not making it home for the weekend, so let's all cross our fingers that the load swap actually works out this time. 